So yesterday I ran all that avocado through the large wood chipper I have and it did a fairly good job of uh, mulching it up and making it pretty much like a standard size mulch. But uh, I want this to break down real fast. Um, it's already starting to get warm and I want to spread this on top of the new avocados that I just planted uh, the other day. So I'm going to run it through my little red chipper to get it uh, uh, broken down into smaller little bits and then that way when I add it to the mushroom compost it'll cook and it'll break down faster so that's what I'm gonna do right now and then tomorrow I'm gonna get the mushroom compost and uh, I'll mix it all up and show you that and how I built the pile and how I'm gonna just let it sit for a little while <laughs> So I was just shredding and I definitely had some issues today. My bag ripped. It just didn't want to stay like locked on. And then uh, <clears throat> towards the end it got really windy and uh, I feel like half of it was just blowing away and I wasn't even making it into the chipper. So uh, I'm just gonna stop. I think I got more than half of it done and it does look really good um, but <clears throat> It's just too windy. I could see a lot of the leaves uh, that were dry on the top were just blowing away. So I got to go rake all that up now and uh, bring it back. And depending on how tomorrow looks, if it's not too windy, I might try to finish out mulching the rest of this stuff. But uh, if not, the original stuff that's right here, it's not terribly large and it's not that it won't break down in a decent amount of time. But everything that I ran through the chipper now, it's almost like small or uh, I guess large confetti. It's just really finely mulched up wood chips and leaves. So this is gonna break down really fast and especially with the mushroom compost. All right, so I'm hand holding this right now. So it's gonna be a little shaky, but I did wanna show the difference in the first compost pile I did, or I mean the, uh, the first round of chipping through the big chipper and how it it's able to handle logs or branches up to six inches in diameter and then uh, everything that I did running it through this little wood chipper and how it looks now and why I think it's important to try and break this down as much as possible before composting it that is all right so I'm hoping this comes out well but if you look there's still decent sized twigs but there are good little chunks like maybe a half inch most of the leaves go right through it without being shredded but uh as far as trying to compost this it uh it definitely takes a lot longer the bigger and thicker it is so this will definitely break down a lot faster especially in a like good nitrogen source that means there's more surface area with it being so fine and it just allows the fungi and the bacteria to have more access to it, which will then let you get like a faster breakdown of the material. All right, so we went and got mushroom compost this morning. We were there just a little after seven. We loaded up the truck and it took like 15 minutes or so. And now we're back. So now we can start mixing it with everything that I wood chipped. I'm the sun, man. 
So what you just saw us doing is uh, just kind of leveling out all the mulch that we had and then uh, just kind of almost doing a lasagna where just carbon, mushroom compost, more wood chips and carbon and just kept doing that and then kept pulling the sides which is mixing it and throwing it on top. all done uh, I'm gonna go ahead and let this sit for uh, maybe like a week or so depending on how hot it gets and how fast it cools down is when I'll be able to go and put it onto the uh, avocado trees all right I'm hoping you guys can see this it's currently saying it's 42 it's 42 degrees Fahrenheit so I'm gonna go ahead and take this in and check the two piles. All right, so right back here is the other compost pile I have. This is the one that has a lot of the wood chips. And we do try to throw our kitchen scraps uh, into this pile, but we just don't produce that much. And also a lot of the chickens, or the, uh, a lot of the kitchen scraps we do have end up either going to the worms, uh, black soldier flies, or uh, to the chickens. So our compost piles are kind of the last to get any of the uh, kitchen scraps. So this is where we're gonna add all of the uh, mushroom compost to. And I've done this before and it cooks down really nicely. Uh, I've had this thing to where it was mounded up and it was higher than the top of the uh, pallets behind me. And over like two months or so, maybe three, it just cooked down and dropped probably a good foot and the compost at the very bottom is really nice. So I'm gonna go ahead, mix this up a little bit, uh, try to level it so that way it's easier to put the mushroom compost on top and then uh, that'll be it for the mushroom compost that we do have. All right, so I thought I had a lot more space than I do here. Uh, that was four wheelbarrows full, and uh, it's back to being full. So we're gonna have to end up moving it to different compost bins. So if I do end up running out of space, then I'm just gonna end up adding it to the um, pile that I made previously for my avocados. even just 